Imagine a backdrop of the American Civil War, strong female leads, and two theatrical releases. Yep, that's Kevin Costner's new project in a nutshell. Is Horizon the reason Kevin called quits on Taylor for Yellowstone? Or is there something else? What does Taylor think of Kevin's new project? Stay tuned to find out. Horizon, Costner's first project in years. Are you excited for a cinematic journey through the untamed American West? Well, Costner's new project, Horizon, an American saga, has got that covered. Do you know that this project marks Kevin Costner's return to director's chair after years? Yep, the last movie, obviously Western, this man directed was Open Range back in 2003. So one thing's for sure, this man's got a ton to prove with this Horizon saga. In a recent interview with Variety, Costner, now 68 years old, shared some juicy details about the Horizon films. According to Costner, the two films are separate but interconnected stories that will unfold against the backdrop of America's western frontier. All of this will take place during a tumultuous 15-year period spanning pre- and post-Civil War. Costner also describes the viewing experience of the movie, stating that it'll be similar to watching a grand saga with varying storylines weaved together. The film's narrative lens takes a zoomed-in view of the struggles and triumphs of both settler groups and the Native American inhabitants. Well, it's Costner, so all of this echoes the thematic richness of Costner's other ventures like Yellowstone and its prequels 1883 and 1923. Now, one may ask, what lies at the heart of this epic tale? According to Costner, it's the resilience of the human spirit, especially that of the women who play a very important role in the film. Reflecting on the film, he stated that it's a beautiful story, but it's also a hard story. One standout feature of this movie is that the women in it have really strong characters. What Costner is trying to portray is their everyday struggle to get by in a world that is impossibly tough. Warner Brothers also painted a vivid picture of Horizon. In their words, Horizon will capture the essence of the Old West. It'll have the allure, the struggle, and the sacrifice. We're excited to experience the blood, the sweat, and the tears that shaped a nation. But how does this fit in with Taylor Sheridan's controversies with Kevin Costner? Kevin and Taylor, buddies turned rivals? Now, as Taylor Sheridan is gearing up for the Yellowstone finale, season five, part two, and Costner is gearing up for Horizon, we can expect some serious competition in the frontier of television and film. Sheridan, who you may know, is also the mastermind behind gripping flicks like Hell or High Water and Sicario, struck gold with Yellowstone when it premiered in 2018. Fast forward to today, and it's not just another TV show, it's quite literally a cultural phenomenon. This show has dominated the small screen with its epic storytelling and gripping characters. And at the heart of it all was Costner, the man who led the charge as the formidable patriarch John Dutton. His career resurgence was nothing short of legendary. However, it hasn't been an all-smooth ride for the Yellowstone crew. Season 5 Part 2 has been drowning in controversies, especially the ones surrounding Costner and Sheridan. Yet even with all the bumps in the road, both of these maestros have managed to charge ahead with their Western projects. You may also think Costner's Western movie series is a deliberate attempt to take on Sheridan's expanding Yellowstone empire. It's quite literally a competition to see whether both titans can cement their status as prominent figures in the genre. And guess what? They're just getting started. Did you know there are already several projects in the pipeline? And you know what that means? Things are about to get a whole lot more exciting. But what was the turning point that led Costner to diverge from Taylor? And what does Taylor have to say about it? Controversies. Costner's demands. Okay, let's recap a bit. We know that things haven't been sunshine and rainbows between Kevin and Taylor. But what was the core issue that caused Costner to say goodbye to Yellowstone? So apparently, Costner came to the negotiating table with a hefty list of demands for Yellowstone. The demands included a pay bump, fewer hours on set, and guess what? The power to give the thumbs up or down on all the scripts. Naturally, Sheridan, who's known for flying solo when it comes to writing, wasn't exactly thrilled about handing over creative control. And that was the cue for tensions. After that, the situation escalated quickly. Paramount, at last, decided to walk away from the bargaining table. 
Now, do you know what Costner wants to do? Well, he isn't backing down, that's for sure. He's talking about legal action, and his claims? He states that there has been a breach of contract, and he's waving around phrases like the moral death clause. Yeah, it's a whole thing. But there's more to this story. Did you know even before this, Costner and Sheridan weren't best buddies behind the scenes? Yep, apparently, according to insiders, this feud doesn't come as a surprise at all. Then the plot thickened. On the home front for Kevin Costner, the news of his departure from Yellowstone hit right after his wife, Christine, filed for divorce. After 18 years of marriage, the couple decided to call it quits. Costner's reps dubbed the situation as something that Kevin could not have controlled, and that's what led to this unfortunate turn of events. In a child support hearing, Costner mentioned that he desired to return for a sixth season of Yellowstone. But as we mentioned above, negotiations became futile due to financial demands and what Costner himself referred to as creative issues. Does Sheridan feel the same? We'll take a look at that in a while. However, now fast forward to April 2024. Kevin is busy promoting his new project, Horizon. And according to fans, his tone is everything humble. But get this, Costner was asked about John Dutton's future, and do you know what he said? He outright deferred the question to Taylor and even acknowledged that while he had his own ideas, in the end, it's Sheridan's vision that matters most. All we can say is that it's been a whirlwind of developments for Costner, both personally and professionally. And it looks like there are plenty of twists and knots to be addressed. However, let's take a look at the two cents Sheridan has to offer on this matter. Calm and congenial, Sheridan's motto. It's time to take a look into the mind of the king of Yellowstone himself, Kevin Costner. During a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Taylor has some interesting things to say about his relationship with Costner. Firstly, he didn't hold back in praising Costner for his brilliant acting and portrayal of John Dutton. Hold your horses. Taylor described his acting as symbolic and powerful. Yep. He also mentioned that regardless of any bumps in the road, he believed that any disagreement could just be smoothed out with a simple phone call. But, yes, there's a but. He didn't reserve himself from acknowledging the elephant in the room. Once the lawyers are in, things always take a turn for the worse. Regardless, he expressed sympathy for Costner. He noted the undue scrutiny Costner's facing and the pressure he's under to shift focus to his latest project which we all know now. And just as you know Taylor, he closed the conversation with a tongue-in-cheek remark about the movie's potential success. While the tone may be up for interpretation, one thing's for sure, there's never a dull moment in the world of Hollywood drama. However, the question still remains, where does Horizon fit in all these controversies? Costner's own cowboy hat. Now that Costner's got his own cowboy hat to wear, this man is holding no bars. He's diving headfirst into it, and this man is not only starring, but also directing, co-writing, and producing. That's a hell of a feat. And get this, the teaser for Horizon dropped on October 5th, 2023. It gave us a fascinating glimpse of what's to come. Costner looked every bit the rugged cowboy in it, that's for sure. Being hailed as a two-part theatrical event, it features a star-studded cast, including Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, and Jenna Malone. Next blockbuster sensation? We think so. With hits like Barbie and Oppenheimer dominating theaters in 2023, it's time for Horizon to see if it can succeed. If the first Horizon film knocks it out of the park with critics and audiences alike, we could be looking at a bona fide cultural event. This is exactly the kind of hype that gets people lined up at the box office. However, with such a tight release schedule, there's no room for streaming services to serve you. So if you want in on the action, you'll have to hit the theaters for both parts. What do you think? Does Costner have a hit on his hands? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for all things Yellowstone.